Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Making History the Calm and the Storm, a World War II strategy game, it's quite light. I've done this before so I'm not going to explain too much, I'm just going to get straight in and actually get to the meat of the game. I'm going to play The Limits of Peace, which is the July 20th, 1936 scenario. And we're going to play as a more difficult nation than any one of these. We're going to play as Argentina. 13th most powerful in the world, but with a very, very bad army to begin with. We're going to change that. We're going to be playing with the Alliance PowerPoint's victory. I do not believe it is possible to win with nation. It probably is, but not for me. I'm going to play with Alliance, and I'm going to get powerful enough that one of the major alliances will allow me in, and then we'll win together. Probably the Nazis. And we're going to play normal, and we're going to go. Now, I've tried this once before, and I failed miserably, so we're going to try again. I've learned one thing, which is to not go straight for Chile. Apart from that, we're actually fine. So, straight in. Firstly, we're going to want to upgrade the industry everywhere. Except Buenos Aires, that we're going to want to stockpile some arms in. And we're going to want the first army to come up here, because we're going to start by taking Uruguay, Paraguay and Bolivia. Then we're going to go for Chile, then we're going to go for either one of these or Brazil. Okay, everyone got that? I wasn't going to go to the trade and buy up a load of stocks of things. We're just going to go through, we're going to buy big piles of everything. And then we're going to take two turns worth of these massive stocks. Maybe three, actually. I said three turns worth of those stocks. China, low on communist China, that's to be expected. Then we cut all of these except. Uh, hold on. Three, four. We're going to cut almost all of this, but not actually all of it. And I'll tell you why. Trade makes people like us, and we're going to want people to like us at least a little bit to begin with. So let's cut most of this, except for a little bit from the USSR, yeah, maybe a bit more. And there we have it. The balance is positive. We are losing most of these sorts of resources, but it should be fine. Let's go to the infrastructure, let's maximise our oil output and check on our IPUs. So we're grading the industries, industries in Santa Fe and we're getting some of everything else. Hmm. Good shortage is an issue, so we're going to change the goods there. But yeah, we're definitely going to need some more cities pretty soon. Well, luckily, I was going to take one more turn. And what's the army here? Ten? Let's go for it. Now this isn't going to get as much, it's only going to get us one city with seven IPUs, but it's going to get us it straight away. So there shouldn't be any issues with lost IPUs because the it's going to win quickly. Brazil is an embargo, does. Now unfortunately this game doesn't really provide any placating options except for trading, which you can't do if they've embargoed you. So Brazil could declare war at any moment. Hopefully they don't. But it's quite possible that they will, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Okay, Brazil, let us take this easy enough so we can now change this to create light industry. And we shall probably change Cordoba to make goods and change that to arms. Uh, mm, no. You know what, you stay on industry. How many more turns can I... Ooh. I can't keep this up for many more turns. I can probably go straight for Paraguay and take that. Maybe. Four turns. If Brazil doesn't declare war on those four turns, I should take it. And then I might... Okay, the arm shortage doesn't matter because this isn't an actual war. There we go. You also increase that. Now let's take another look at our IPUs. There is a goods shortage, which... We're... No, there's a debt problem. Why is there a debt problem? What? The, the treasury is higher than it needs to be. What? What? Deficit level. Yeah, the deficit level's less than the penalty. It's not supposed to have a problem yet. 
All right, whatever. Let's go to the world trade and uh, turn off something. Why am I importing so much food? Stop that. Stop immediately. So that should be fine. Is that prison then? Yeah, it's prison the positive, so the, the deficit will fix itself. Hopefully. Also, hopefully people won't, st oh, people won't starve. We have more than enough uh, of that. We don't have enough coal. That is something I am going to have to fix. Let's go and buy some off the UK. They always have plenty. And we're going to want them on our good side. Let's buy 100. That'll do us. What's your army like? 10? I've got a minus 6%, but what would I gain? IP6. What does Brazil think of us? 260. That's too close. I can't do it. I cannot do that. Let's give it one more turn. I need to do research at some point. This is very important. At some point, I need to go into research because I'm going to need the higher levels of infantry. But for now, just going to have to see how it goes. More industry. Maybe I'll turn Santa Fe onto goods for a bit. Still got a deficit problem. We're going to have to deal with it, but not yet. Just going to have to wait until Brazil maybe gets to around 300. Or until we have a chance to build up the military a bit more. And then we'll, uh, we'll continue. Chile's army is building... But it's not problematic yet, so we don't have to you know, do anything yet. Which is good, because I don't intend to. Santiago, 10. I kind of want that city. Really kind of want that city. But the arms shortage is causing a significant problem. If someone declares war on us now, we are screwed. Which is the technical term for a country that is screwed. Hmm. Brazil doesn't have the army on our border. Am I feeling lucky? I'm not. I actually am not. I'd love to take this and I'd love to start building up uh, La Paz, but I just don't think we'll get away with it. I'm going to keep, I'm gonna keep building the IPUs for a bit longer. And then maybe swap Cordova onto... No. Damn it. I, need, I need to stop losing the arms because at some point I do need to swap back into actually attacking stuff. We'll just swap Buenos Aires over, maybe. Put onto arms for a bit. Maybe put Santa Fe back onto industry. And then Cordoba... No. Cordoba onto arms? I'll tell you what. We have enough supplies to do two turns of this. Let's see if we can... Let's see how much we can pull the, the arm shortage out. That much. And we can't let the goods go any low, otherwise we'll lose IPUs. Oh dear. I don't like countries that don't have enough stuff. It's highly annoying. Okay, I'm going to start. Industry, we have enough of it. At this point, we need to start moving into wars. So why don't we see how much we can do with that if... Okay, we need more goods. Uh, is there any way we can balance this better? Maybe if I put that onto arms, that onto goods. Minus four? That'll do. Okay, let's give us a couple of turns just to run through, and then let's try this war. Right, it's got a minus 25% which would put it at about, what, 40 combat power, which is still considerably more than Bolivia. Assuming Brazil doesn't declare war in the next three turns, we should take it. They are massing troops on the border. Not many, but they're there, so not great. Bolivia, ooh, Brazil declared war. Okay, well, we can take Manaus, or the, but we can take the Amazon easy enough. They've got how much worth of air force? 45 worth of air force? That's quite a bit of air force, actually. I'll tell you what, these guys are... St what sort of terrain is this? It's a jungle. 
this, yeah, this definitely has a defensive bonus. So this army is going to stay there. That's 30. Let's move them to this border. They're a lot more powerful, but hopefully the defensive bonus here. Oh, there's no defensive bonus. I mean, it'll take 24 turns to upgrade it. Can't really do that. Please shoot down the air force. Please. Oh god. So oh, we'll say build something. Like arms. Uh, and change that arms into good. Damn it, Buenos Aires. I need you to make goods, but I also need troops. So, yeah. It's Twenty combat power. I don't want to attack with that. Damn it, don't lose anything, whatever you do. Oh, I bet that's got that. Oh, I don't want to attack either, but if I stand there, it's just going to get whittled down. If I move, it loses. Well, how powerful is it now? 45, they're not taking any losses. Just go, just go. Three turns, maybe they'll win, maybe they won't. It's better than standing there. That's 50. Go take that province back. Oh, stop taking stuff. Seriously. It's annoying. States embargo does. Well, this is just great. Right, everything onto arms. Screw goods, we don't need goods anymore. We just need arms and men. We'll lose IPUs, but we'll deal with it. We'll also lose money, but we'll deal with that. But we're gonna win this. It's 20, we won this, which also got rid of that army, which is very good. Right, everything's making something. That's 30 is not enough to attack this by a long shot but with the defensive bonus maybe they can defend that's 20 that's 20 but only in a field artillery I think infantry can rush field artillery okay, that's Japan that's not our problem wait Czechoslovakia is already at war it's only 37 if Europe heats up too fast I might be in trouble because I need to make sure I I get strong enough to get into the German alliance before they get too powerful, otherwise they'll never let me in. Hmm. Little bit concerned. Little bit concerning. How long do you need? Two turns. Right, you make you make goods. Actually, you don't make goods, just make arms. Make sure we have some stockpile, then we'll worry about goods later. Apparently, it was, we're not into the deficit, so we're not losing anything yet. We are losing based on ownership, but what are you going to do? Okay, the field artillery attacked. Actually, that's very good. We get the defensive bonus. However, they apparently have air force. It's very bad. But we can probably take Sul. Send the 6th army to Grand Shaco, Shaco, whatever. Um, how's that battle going? Well, maybe. You know what, this war could be going a lot worse. We're winning this, so we're going to hold on to the Amazon. Right, so not producing goods is going to kick us eventually, but... Damn it, we're still in this. God only knows how, but we are still in this. There's nothing defending the capital. There's nothing... Uh, wait, is Rio de Janeiro the capital? Maybe, I don't know. Just go for it. How many are you? 20. 20. Um, give another turn. Winning that, barely. And I think this is the last of their air force. Once we've taken that, they've got nothing. Also, we should probably move the... That's the Brazilian fleet. 
Let's move on much more powerful fleet to go take it out. Should've done that ages ago. I mean, the, the, the Navy never makes too much difference in this game, to be fair. Makes a little bit. Don't know if embark if like uh, blockading does anything. I assume it would, but yeah, I don't really know. Still winning. Still winning. How many men is that? Forty. That's too many to go straight for them. Let's try and take everything, and then we'll worry about it. Also, let's try making goods. 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 Nowhere near enough to compensate, but it's getting close. Also, the arm shortage is becoming less of an issue. We might actually do this. God only knows how, but we might actually do this, and then the rest of South America is ours. Assuming the United States doesn't declare war, which is the problem that could potentially happen. Oop, shortage, shortage. Let's buy some coal off the Germans, yes. Make the Germans like us more. Actually, how do the Germans feel about us? It's very important. Close. Can I get in your alliance? Oh, come on. We're not powerful. I don't think we're powerful enough. If we get a bit more powerful, they'll probably let us in. Also, if we don't pull them into a war, I suppose, they might like us a bit more. So that's 40. Four turns to get into there. Four turns to get into there. Six turns. Whichever way they decide to go, there's no chance to get out of this. We're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna beat Brazil. And then we're going for Chile. Look at them. Smug people. They knew I couldn't go for them because Brazil had stopped me from the other side. But now you've got nothing. Well, I get really evil. What is about the Argentinians that just make me want to be evil? Oh god damn, I hope I don't have any Argentinian viewers. I probably will, because I'm going to have to put Argentina on the video. So anybody searching. That's what it's going to show up as. I'm very sorry. I'm not that sorry, but, you know, I'm kind of sorry. On the scale of sorriness, you know, I'm on it. And there we have it. Brazil's ours. We gain all their food, some metal, some coal, some oil. And now we get to deal with the cities. So that's sorted by IPUs. Let's change this off infantry to some. Actually, you know what we need? We need a more advanced city. You upgrade. We'll have all of the smaller cities upgrade because they upgrade quickly and just become vastly more useful. And then we'll see how much it takes to. Ah, we can't balance it with just these. Some of these are going to have to produce goods. Still minus two. What if we transfer Santa Fe over? Alright, so we've got 28 turns worth of arms left and we are positive for goods. And we still have two cities upgrading. And three decent sized armies? Oh, no. I'm going to call it two decent sized armies. Prepared to go to war. So let's move into position. And then I shall say thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Tune in next time to see me crush the rest of South America. Or get crushed by America in the process. You know, either way. I'll see you then.